Hello everyone, my name is Urvashi and I am a third year undergrad at Delhi Technological University. So I am currently pursuing computer science and today I am going to talk about my internship experience at Outreachy with Wiki Education Dashboard. So basically the purpose of my talk would be three topics. That is, what is the Wiki Education Dashboard? what is react and what is outreachy so i do really wish to talk about react but i saw that there has been a lot of talks already talking about react and i don't think 20 minutes are enough to cover these three itself but i want to give a really small brief about react and how to get started with it so initially let's start with what is wiki education so according to their website it says Wiki Education connects higher education to Wikipedia, ensuring that the world's most read source of information is more representative, accurate, and complete. So it says Wikipedia is the world's most read source of information, and I truly believe it's that so because ever since I've known how to use the internet or how to Google, I've known Wikipedia. But how does it connect higher education with Wikipedia? And it does that through the Wiki Education Dashboard, which is also known as the Programs and Events Dashboard. But what is this dashboard and what does it do? So this dashboard provides a tool that helps instructors and students to share the knowledge and track their contributions. So instructors can create and manage a Wikipedia assignment and students can stay informed and learn how to edit Wikipedia. So I'm sure everybody knows about Wikipedia in this room. And uh, has anybody already contributed to Wikipedia? No, but we all, all of us have read Wikipedia or have gone to it for some kind of information or maybe doing your homework or projects. So me being an instructor, suppose I am at some university and I don't want my students to copy each other's assignments and submit homework on which they have not really worked on. So and. I want my students to work on something which is also useful for other people and being a student I want my homework to not end up in trash by the end of the semester. So I can create, uh, suppose I take a class in history and I can create an, an assignment or a course on the dashboard. So. This is the dashboard and these are some existing campaigns. So suppose I want my students to learn more about National Women's Studies Association or I want them to contribute to it. So I will create a campaign and I will add some courses to them. For example, Radical Women in Latin American Art. So my students would edit Wikipedia articles or they can create Wikipedia articles or they can submit any media that is images or videos or anything that they can and what this dashboard does for me is I can track their contributions. So these are the articles that have been edited under this particular course and what I can track is the number of characters added that is the sum of characters added to articles by enrolled editors between the start and end dates and these are the number of views that these articles got and this is just a quick article viewer which tells me visually what that student has edited. So right now it's loading. So yeah, all the text in this lavender color is what this student contributed to, yep. So apart from Wikipedia, we also know Wikipedia is not just text, it's also images. So my project was to work on this tab, the uploads tab. Earlier it used to look quite different from what it is right now. So I initially began with creating a gallery view of it, what you can see on Google search or Flickr. And after that, I decided to do a user research with all of the, uh, and talk with the users who use this dashboard and ask them what they would like 
they use uh, the dashboard to do and what they don't really like what the dashboard already does so when i talked with one user he said that he hated this gallery view because it reminded him of tumblr <laughs> so the question was what to do then i noticed that flickr also has these three views which is the gallery view the list view and a card or tile view so we so i talked with my mentor and we decided to keep all these three views so the tile view was what it used to be earlier uh, the list view is what it used to be earlier but i also uh, but we also added more information to the table and the tile view was a combination of the gallery view and the list view so it also has the images we can also see the images that we want along with the text so this dashboard currently runs in two configurations this is the education dashboard which is mostly used by university professors and students and this is the programs and events dashboard so suppose i really want to make an article about the fos asia summit this year so i would create a program for fos asia summit 9, 2019 and i can share the link with all of you to enroll into that program and add articles what happened in this summit or images that you have and i can see all the edits and all the images that have been contributed so these are some stats so ever since the dashboard came out in 2010 we've had about 2.8000 wiki education courses uh yeah and 50 about 58000 students have worked on it and 75000 articles have been worked on approximately 53 million words have been added and 438 million views for all of the articles combined now the dashboard now coming to the development side of the dashboard the dashboard uses react on the front end and ruby on rails on the back end so i worked on react mainly on the front end on the upload tab so what is react react is a javascript library for building user interfaces it is the v of an mvc framework the view from a model view controller framework so the model is your data view is what you see on your screens and controller controls that data how it is presented on your screen so when i learned react it was the document i am a learner who learns while coding so i really enjoyed working on the dashboard and if i'm sure people would have heard about code academy so i use that to learn a lot of things and it helps me to get a structure of how these frameworks work and documentation so the doc documentation of react is excellent so you can work uh, you can learn react with the documentation and by coding using code academy now how did i get this internship and how did i get a chance to work on the wik edu education dashboard what is outreachy outreachy provides internships to work in free and open source software fos outreachy internships are open to applicants around the world and you have to work remotely you don't have to move to another place and all the interns are paid a stipend of 5500 us dollars for 3 months and also along with that stipend the interns also have a travel stipend up to 500 us dollars so that's the reason why i'm able to come here and speak because i got this travel stipend 